one extra. Jordan Peele, thank you so much for taking time out to speak to me this You're afternoon. You're welcome, Yasmin. So, first of all, why do you do this to us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't, you know, something's wrong with me. <laughs> Since we've been up here, we've been happening more and more. It's like there's this black cloud hanging over us. I, I've uh, I spent so much time focusing on laughter and getting right. laughs, and and there's nothing better than being in a theater w during one of my movies and and hearing the audience go. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. It's I like have the to best. say, so I went to go and watch Get Out um, many years ago with a lot of people. It was a private screening and, and it was full. People were sat down the side of the stairs mm -hmm. because they wanted to get in. And that was one of the most enjoyable moments I have had in a theatre ever, oh, I have to say. And I'm not just awesome. saying that because you're here. Thank you. And I know from the beginning, I know when I watch one of your, when your films, I'm like, right, I need to figure this out. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to figure so it out. You watch it like this. You're like, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's good. And then I'm, and when you, as you're doing that, I'm trying to give you um, Im imagery to yeah. make you go, okay, no, I was watching too close. Throwing us off. Yeah. How do you come up with this, these ideas? Because I'm watching it and I'm thinking, okay, you could have come up with this literally yesterday when you were 15. Kind of when did these ideas the, hit you? The doppelganger fear has been with me since I was a kid. Wow, okay. Um, I would, you know, just the idea of seeing yourself and what if yourself just smiled at you, like yeah. knowingly. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, nope. see, yeah. that's scary. And then so you think about what, what's that about and what, what kind of doppelganger could I uh, add to right. the, the, the sort of tradition of, of that, that subgenre. And that's when I got the idea of the doppelganger family. Um, okay. And uh, I realized, oh, okay, well, that's that's scary on a whole different level, and it's worth exploring. Yeah, it's kind of, I guess, it's you know, you're spending so many, much time looking into the mirror at yourself, and you kind of you have a freak yourself. Out. No, you don't. Do you do that all the time? Just looking at yourself in the mirror. Oh yeah. See, I don't I give don't, myself some confidence. You have no. You have <laughs> a. You have a good. You your mirror viewings go much better than mine. <laughs> Let's put it that way. How easy is it for you to se separate from your comedy side? Because I'm a huge fan of Big Mouth, huge fan. Oh, right on. Yeah. Well, no, I don't separate. You know, it's all, you, it's get, all the same. you get Jordan Peele, you know? Yeah. I think the difference between a horror and comedy often is the music, you know? Yes. Right? It's, yeah. it's um, they're very connected and, you know, I, um, I, I won't, f I won't fight laughter in right. my films, but at the same time, I'm not telling jokes. I'm not setting you up with the, with the whole the whole point to make you laugh, but when you ground something and you um, apply it to reality, I mean the audience is ready mm -hmm. to 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 have that release valve for the yeah. tension. So it's it's in a horror movie, it's it's quite easy to get the laugh. Crawl, Daddy. Ah, ah. He's kidding, right? He's not kidding. There was a, a lot of laughs and, and a lot of laughs in, in Get Out, and I really do feel like that's. that's Did you good. find us scarier than Get Out? Yes, but maybe that, that's because I anticipated it to be scary. Mm, interesting. I mean, you've made me, what am I going to do when I go in a club and I hear Lun is five on it? I'm going to be fearful looking behind me. I've ruined the song <laughs> for you. <laughs> you've just made it intense. Yeah, good, good. Well, and that song was always scary to me. I, 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 it always, I mean, it was always dope, but it has that, that sort of riff in it, that yeah. kind of like Nightmare on Elm Street. He has got that vibe. You know, so um, that's what I, I, you know, with we did that with Redbone and Get Out as well. It's like take a, a real, a dope track, mm -hmm. but one that has a haunting thing going on. And that one has, um, you know, that that's how I sort of get the, the anthems yep. of, of my films. I mean, and I love also Janelle Monet. I like it. Yeah, That's still, and that does have its little spooky, mm -hmm. especially when it's the long winding mm -hmm. road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a throwback, right? There's, yeah. there's something kind of ghostly when you have like this sort of doo-wop sound that's 
um, echoey and ethereal. I mean, Janelle is like... She's amazing. I mean, I get to put Janelle Monet mu music in my films. Like, I mean, that's... That's yeah. what I get to do, so... That's like a bucket list that you had to add it on the bucket. Boom. Yeah. Janelle Monet Janelle. in a horror movie. <laughs> done. Yeah. No one gets to do that for the first time. Do you kind of like delve into your playlist? Is that what you do when you're kind of thinking... Of, or do you have already in your mind what the soundtrack's gonna be like. A, a little of both. I think I think the, the music that I listen to that inspires me to make this movie isn't necessarily the, the music that ends up in the movie. Right. Um, but um, but I do, I do put on, I mean with this with this movie I put on strangely the hopeful music when I was when I was writing it. Okay. Um, and I wanted to sort of subvert this idea of positivity and hope and and camaraderie and and this take this idyllic thing because yeah. that and because so, i was presenting the the un, underbelly of all of that mm -hmm. so i have some theories okay. right you don't have to give anything away but i just want to throw them at you mm -hmm. can i do that okay i brought my little notebook it says you fierce on it face on in case okay I have yeah to. right so i feel like everyone's going to say this but honestly Get Out and Us are in the same cinematic universe. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Yeah, okay. Getting nothing from Getting me. Getting nothing, yeah, right, interesting. Uh -huh. Wanted to know whether the Tylers would know the Armitages. I see, I see what you're doing. Yeah. I see what you're doing. Would they know each other? They seem, you know, they're very wealthy. Would they know each other? If they were in the same cinematic universe. If they were. Mm. Would they? Um, not all white people know each other. You know. <laughs> that's not. That's but all the, black people do. The, yeah, but then, but we do. Yeah, you know. Um, but um, no, but uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, so let's 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 say that there's a connection. They 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 both um, paid for their kids to go to college. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's hope the payment was legit. The, no, it was not. They both. They both. <laughs> Bri yes, they're both in, bri in bribery scandals, yes. <laughs> yeah. Right, so this is more not a theory, but I've noted it down. In both Get Out and Us, there is someone who's really into athletic running. Did you, I mean, that you obviously is, noticed that because you wrote it. <laughs> wow. Now that you put it like that. Uh, yes, there, there, yes, that is true. Yeah. That is true. And, you know, it's like running is a, is, is a horror trope. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, and yes, there's there's I have I have seen in Get Out I have a scene where someone's running towards us, and yeah. this I have a scene where someone's are absolutely terrifying. running away from us. Yes. Okay, I'm going to work on that one. Okay. Okay. Me too. <laughs> the next one is: What if the family, the Red family, were the people that escaped from the sunken place and came back to get their bodies back? I've heard this one. I've oh. heard this one. This one's online. You, you. I need to get more creative. You need to come up with your own theories. <laughs> frankly, um, that uh, I, I can I can say definitively here that is not what this movie is about. Uh -uh, not okay. So I'm going to work on my theories. Um, mm. I feel like every theory that I said was probably incorrect, which is why I started this interview and said, "Why did you do this to us, Jordan? <laughs> why?" I'm going to go away and figure it out. Good. Good, good, oh, good. And I expect there's probably going to be more films coming that will, might reveal. Well, uh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Jordan Peele, thank, thank you. you so much. All right. It was a pleasure really, to meet really you. Really nice meeting you. That was really <laughs> thank fun. Thank you.